Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back again with another Orbits video. As today, we are taking a look at the different bottle caps and what they mean, the history behind them, and all of that good stuff. So for those of you that don't know what Orbits is, or you need a quick refresher, Orbits was a drink that came out in 1996 made by Clearly Canadian. And they were famous for their sparkling water drinks and all that kind of stuff. And they spent so much money, so much development, $18 million to develop these drinks that would have these gel balls inside. And they were flavored with like say right here, vanilla orange. It would be vanilla water with orange flavored gallon gum pieces in here. And uh, they are just so cool to look at. It was just a really, really neat and wacky drink, which that's what the 90s were all about. Just really just left field kind of stuff. But yeah, these were naturally flavored drinks as well, and they were non-carbonated drinks, so it wasn't like a soda or anything. It was just water with some flavored gel pieces. There were five official flavors of Orbitz, but there was also one extra that was a variant, but we'll get into that in the next video. But for now, I got asked a question about this by a person going by Crime Scene Dean on YouTube, and I was like, yeah, that, that's definitely something we should look into. It's taking a look at the different colored bottle caps and how many different uh, colored bottle caps there were on these Orbitz drinks. There weren't that many. As you see here, there are four, and to my knowledge, these are the only different colored bottle caps there are. Being the biggest nerd for Orbitz ever, I think at this point, with all the research I've done on them, I think it's safe to say that there are only four different colored bottle caps that came on Orbitz drinks. So what we'll do is kind of start here and work our way down to this one. It's kind of a chronological order because this one right here, the black currant berry flavor, was the final flavor, the fifth extra flavor that came out a year later in 97. And yeah, we'll, we'll just take a look at that later. But anyways, here is this one, which this one's a vanilla orange flavor. And the silver bottle cap on here is the standard one that you would usually see on all Orbitz drinks. It says Defy Gravity, has the Orbitz logo, and its website right there. And along the side here, it just has the same thing, the website. And on this side, it reads Product of Canada. So yeah, this was the usual one. Nothing too special about it, besides the fact that it is definitely a cool looking bottle cap, has kind of the stainless steel sheen to it with a blue uh, print on it. So the next bottle cap we are looking at is this black one that is the Independence Day video game promotion bottle cap. Now these bottle caps came on every single flavor, but this one happens to be the oh so juicy raspberry citrus. It had raspberry flavored water, with uh, lemon citrus flavored gel bites in it. But taking a look at this bottle cap here, yeah, they came out, I wanna say early spring 1997. So what this promotion actually was, was a $10 mail-in rebate. And what you had to do was collect 10 of these bottle caps, then buy the Independence Day video game cut out the UPC on the video game box and mail that in along with 10 of these caps and then you get a $10 rebate. It was a horrible, horrible promotion. I want to shake the hand of anybody that went through that much dedication to uh, do that. But uh, yeah, that's what this was. Very, very bad promotion. I don't know what they were thinking, thinking that this would somehow maybe save the brand by then. Because by 1997, I want to say mid-1997, uh, it was it was dead. It was gone. Like, no one cared about Orbitz anymore. I mean, a lot of us kids did, but the uh, consumers at large, they just saw it, tried it once, didn't care after that. It was kind of like Crystal Pepsi and all that. But, uh, yeah, that is the uh, story behind the black bottle caps here. We'll read the side here. So as it reads there, 10 Orbitz bottle caps and video game proofs required. Offer expires May 15th, 1997. Details inside video game. So if you buy the video game, I think that'd be pretty interesting to look at to see the offer in the 
uh, instruction booklet or wherever it's at. Then on the side here, orbits.com, product of Canada, $10 mail-in rebate with purchase of ID4 video game and orbits. This came out, I want to say, a little bit after the ID4 video game promotion, and this one was for a music CD. So Orbits at the time, I mean, yeah, CDs were huge, and they thought, hey, let's put a lot of Canadian artists with their songs in a CD compilation and make a promotion out of that. So that's when they came up with the new music CD offer. And for the longest time, I thought that the CD was called Defy Gravity. But no, it was definitely not. They just simply took the Defy Gravity off the original Orbits cap and just made it larger and put it on top of the blue one here. So the CD wasn't named that. I happen to have the CD that this promotion was for and we'll, we'll take a look at it. It's wacky. But before we get to the CD, let's read what it says. Defy Gravity, new music CD offer. Exclusive 15 track CD and t-shirt for only $9.99 plus shipping and handling. While supplies last, details under cap. And there is a phone number. And on the side of the cap, new music CD and t-shirt offer. There is the website there. And product of Canada. So if you were to take part in the promotion for this blue bottle cap with the new music CD, you would get this. It is Marvin Fabulous and www.orbits.com proudly present the Lee Baby Sims Ballroom Best New Music in Association with BMG Special Products. Taking a scan across everything, you see the Orbits logo there. This just looks very, very weird, but if you look at the Orbits website and what they had in the 90s, all the way back in 97, 98, uh, it was a very weird, wacky designed website, and it had all of these stories and just wacky out there stuff, and this definitely fits the theme with the website more than the actual drinks. So taking a look at the back, the songs on here a lot of them just suck yeah this is the cd that came with the promotion for these caps and now we come to the final bottle cap that is different and it's a pink bottle cap or purple however you want to see it this came in the called they called this the limited edition flavor which was the final orbits flavor black currant berry this is the hardest flavor to find if you were to try to look on ebay and scan uh for orbits drinks this one is definitely the I, holy grail of all the flavors and nothing is very special about it besides the fact that it is pink there was no promotion for it or anything else uh, it was just simply pink just to be like, oh, yeah, this is a limited edition one. It's different because it's pink. So, yeah, that, that's basically it. But just to cover all the bases, here is what it looks like on the side of the cap. Orbits.com, product of Canada. And, yeah, that is basically it. Now, as you've been probably looking at these things... This one has all the balls at the bottom. I really don't know why this one in particular has done that, besides the fact that this is the only bottle that I have that is actually from Canada. It's Canadian, as you can see, there's French below the English here. It makes me think that possibly only Canadian Orbitz drinks got the blue bottle cap promotion for the CD because most of the artists on here are from Canada. So, I mean, that makes me think that this promotion was a strictly Canadian exclusive. But anyways, for those of you wondering all the different variations of colors of Orbit's bottle caps and the story behind them all, it's actually uh, pretty in-depth for such a simple thing. And it's uh, still, I mean, so much history behind this very short-lived drink uh, I'm slowly uncovering over time. I think I got most of it all down, but 
Finding this CD is my latest uh, treasure and thing I have found about it. And I don't know, actually to have it sealed is pretty cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm DJ Glowing Ice for Industrial Industries World Radio. And I will see you next time. Peace out.